Hello, hello. This is the Awful and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 345. This is Rajesh Sen. And this is Abbas Momin. This is the bald and the beautiful this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on almost video. going bald, so it could be anything right now. But we have some awful things to discuss. <laughs> They're really quite bad. So we have two things which are all over the like being reviewed a lot, which is Big Girls Don't Cry, the yes. new show on. It was on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, yes. Yeah, and on Netflix they have Murder Mubarak, which also, which for some reason I on Instagram, I'm following three celebrities. Okay, mm. one is Priyanka Chopra. I don't know why I'm following her because I'm not a big sure. fan. The second is mm. Katrina Kaif. Again, mm. I don't know why I'm doing this. The third is Karishma Kapoor. Oh. which i realized because i kept seeing like i don't follow too many people on instagram right. which is why it's even worse that mm. of the people i follow these are the three so i've been seeing a lot of uh, murder mubarak posts by her promotions yeah. yes and we also have a uh, daniel sloss is a stand up comedian yes i watched this show in mumbai yes he's touring uh, touring india right now he's doing eight cities i think which is a lot for a for an international comedian to do in india okay so his special is called can't and so that's c a n apostrophe ha, okay <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah i i caught it and he's a pretty popular comedian uh, in india and abroad so we'll talk about so that so where's he from he's from scotland oh he's scottish okay Yes. That would be nice. Ha. Huh. So, uh I just did a little reverse kind of complimentary <laughs> racism over here. <laughs> Scottish must be nice. Then. So, <laughs> what should we start with? Let's start with Murder Mubarak because I've been seeing the hoardings and as you said the social media yeah. blitz is everywhere. Netflix is going all out and they've got everyone and their grandmother to join the star cast of this film. So, I think it's only fair we start with yeah. this. Yeah. But before we discuss Murder Mubarak, Let's get on with the headlines. Uh, YouTuber and Big Boss Two winner, uh, OTT Two Big Boss OTT Two winner Elvish Yadav. I don't know why his name is Elvish, but Elvish Yadav was arrested by Noida police and sent to fourteen day judicial custody for allegedly supplying snake venom as a drug at rave parties. Now I saw the video of him with the cops. it looked like he was with his pals because he is just <laughs> like strolling along having a proper chat with them and also yeah it's very sweet that noida police are so affectionate towards people they arrest yes i mean you never know some snake venom might still be uh, yeah. left over God so knows. yeah <laughs> yeah uh Oscar winning music director MM Kiravani will collaborate with Bollywood actor Anupam Kher for Tanvi the Great. The movie will be directed by Anupam Kher under his own production banner. Dune Part 2 is all set to reach the 500 million dollar box office milestone. Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya uh, have set a new global box office collection record with this film. You watch mm-hmm. Dune part 1 i haven't so i've uh, have a bit of a hamstring injury because of which i've been uh, be- i've been advised bed rest so i haven't ventured out much which is why i was able to binge on <laughs> big girls don't cry oh, that's and murder right. mubarak yes so i think you <laughs> yeah. part 1 is online now yes it is it's on it's streaming on netflix i think huh. and Uh, if you remember actually dune part 1 was my i we discussed that on my first appearance on awful oh. and awesome it was you uh, abhinandan and me so that's why i remember that very and clearly and he watched it because i watched it on big screen with him i think no, yeah. i i don't think either of you had watched it yeah, so because then i was we really after that you moved yeah. us so much by your review that we went and watched it on big screen after that <laughs> and part 2 i haven't caught so yeah i'm looking forward to it yeah Ed Sheeran collaborated with Diljit Dosanjh and sang his first Punjabi song in his Mumbai concert. The award-winning singer was seen grooving to Diljit's hit Lover. 
this is the thing like you know what a time to be alive really i know and on the <laughs> note we will get to another uh, the first of the uh, things we want to review which also makes us so happy to be alive to see this kind of entertainment being produced out of india of course murder mubarak is mm-hmm. based on anuja chauhan's book called uh, club you to death as far as i know yeah club mm-hmm. you to death i'm not a big fan of anuja's uh, writing oh but, really yeah i like i've read that uh, zoya factor no what girls are they oh. something oh, girls yeah. Th- those thakur girls those i think thakur it's called those thakur girls yeah, which yeah. was okay it was sort of it was that was still okay because you could recognize people from news track and from mm. all over uh the place but other like i'm not like a die hard fan like a lot of people really really love her books yeah 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 so i feel she is much better as a like when she's being interviewed or she's talking and all Absolutely, she's very yeah. very bright I was about and, to say, yeah a big fan of anuja chauhan as what what she's done in advertising and as a yeah, speaker yeah exactly but i've i've only read the zoya factor it was like just a checklist of chiclet things happening yeah. in the plot so yeah exactly so even thakur girls those thakur girls is like that so the film is directed so i first thought it's a uh series but thankfully series. it was a mm. film because if it was a series would have been too much <laughs> absolutely but actually you know what Raj- rajshree this week i feel like uh the the two things i i i would have preferred if murder mubarak was a series and big girls don't cry was a movie I think it would be more palatable. Yeah, though. actually, because at mm. least the characters in Murder Mubarak, if you, if they are scripted well, they can be interesting, mm. quite like exactly. funky and fun and all. Mm. So it's mm. directed by Homi Ajanya, who I think is very hot. Most importantly, yes. <laughs> I do not think he's a great director, but he is an okay. extremely attractive man. I must say, and it's produced by Dinesh Vijayan, who I sadly don't know who he is. But the film is uh, set in a what is supposed to be Delhi golf club or Delhi hmm. gym khana, basically, and hmm. it's a commentary on this club culture and the kind of people you find in clubs, especially in Delhi high society. people mm. so delhi golf club is like that delhi golf club uh, delhi gym khana has sort of had its time in the sun and is no longer mm. its heyday but delhi golf club is still the place to go to and unless you are very well connected it's very difficult to get a membership you are mm. even delhi gym khana you won't get a membership and they are golfers and very rich people who are a little removed from real life reality yes yeah so <laughs> but rajshri do you yeah. do you have a membership at, at either of these clubs no but i have in calcutta would you would you tall country oh, club oh okay okay <laughs> <laughs> and some other clubs also Ta- talking about being far ru- removed from reality yeah but we are very sort of the earth people <laughs> So in in that's why I can turn my oh but I am Delhi gym khana sorry I have a reciprocal oh, membership oh, 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 oh. but I don't okay. go there I like look down okay. at like that kind of thing but the film so the film is about a whole set of members of the club and mm. uh, someone gets murdered which is the mm. gym uh, instructor. gets yes. murdered which is right off the bat so i'm not giving any spoilers over here and yeah. pankaj tripathi is called in to solve the murder because first they think it's just a death but then they realize it's a murder and he yeah. is called in and there's a laundry list of uh, members and suspects mm-hmm. which includes dimple kapadia who is a who is an auntie one of those socialized aunties who likes drinking so there's this place in the hills i don't want to name it but mm-hmm. uh, which has a homestay and at 9 am the lady who owns it the lady and her husband who own it the lady can be seen watering the plants wearing a kaftan with a glass of prosecco or champagne in her hand so these okay. are things which happen in life it's not uh, like it's right. like cooked up and <laughs> right. uh, then there sara ali khan is the hmm. what is she she's just a rich kid. No, so so she's a wife of uh, oh, one she's of a the widow yeah 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 she's yeah. a widow yeah so yeah. uh the back story given to her is uh, 
again there are multiple back stories here so she had a romantic liaison with the son of one of the other influential families who was a member there mm. but they couldn't get married she got married to someone else the marriage also happened at the club and now the husband is dead so yeah. uh, sara ali khan's character and vijay verma who plays the the mm. male lead uh, or second lead you can say they are kind of rekindling their romance through this murder mystery happening uh yeah. in the background so yeah that's the back story that she's given yeah so that sara ali khan vijay verma is there who uh, is a lawyer who fights for the like for people who are not uh, from yeah, a privileged yeah, yeah. background he helps people uh fight their cases and, and he's and also he's also a rebel uh, uh towards the, his parents so his parents make a lot of digs at him being a liberal leftist yeah. uh, and f- being rich and fighting for the poor so yeah there are some jokes yeah so there's that. he is there then there's tiska chopra who's another mm. socialite auntie mm. and she has this son who she really loves who's a bit of a crackhead Yeah. Basically, then there's Sanjay Kapoor, who is my mm-hmm. favorite character. Who is I? So I am a big fan. I've become a big fan of Sanjay Kapoor because right. I feel OTT has given him, like, has been able to tap this potential that was lurking inside Sanjay Kapoor, which nobody True. knew of. Even he yeah. did not know of. I think. <laughs> <laughs> And what was that film he did with Madhuri Dixit? Akhya like back Lana. in the day, yeah, that song Akhya Chura. Yeah, I remember the song. I would remember yeah, the movie. So was it? Was, was it? Uh, it had some very hard Hindi title, like Ag- Agni Agni Pariksha or something. Yeah, like something that. like that. So <laughs> he is Sanjay Kapoor is a ra- is one of the many rajas Royal. royals hmm. from some place he is, and hmm. he is. Everyone says uh, he's from Rajasthan because they speak. Uh, they say that phrase, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, "kama gani" or whatever, and uh, so he is there as well. And who else is there? And there's the th- one of the three people you follow on Instagram. There's Karishma Kapoor. Are you Karishma <laughs> Kapoor is there? She is a B grade actress, but a yes. star actress of B grade. But films. a star actress. Yeah. Yes. And mm. uh, both she and Sanjay Kapoor are running for president of the club. So that club, is yeah. one thing, but yeah. anyway, during uh, the ACP, whatever his name is, basically Pankaj Tripathi's investigations, mm-hmm. various things keep coming out about mm-hmm. the wheelings and dealings of these people. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, so, how did you find this film, uh, Rajshri? Please tell me. I thought it was quite bad, but yes. means it could have been so good. I feel. I I agree. Listen, I can like I can forgive bad. I cannot forgive boring. And this is yeah. that is what this film turns out to be. It starts off interestingly, mm. where they're setting the scene of who the cast members are, and again, like just giving us glimpses into the rich high society of Delhi, and then. I mean, unfortunately, when the investigation starts, when the film is supposed to keep you hooked yeah. and gripped, it just becomes a laundry list of uh, suspects being interrogated. and none of those interrogations are interesting and pankaj tripathi essentially is playing pankaj tripathi yeah. which he does in every film and uh, the the quirks are missing the jokes are missing and i don't know if it's a netflix problem of what it is mm-hmm. because homi adjania made uh, uh, this show on hotstar called uh, flamingo something which also yeah, started yeah. dimple kapadia yeah who or flamingo sars who or flamingo Everything which was quite gripping everything of his uh, it stars dimple by the way dimple kapadia yes finding yes, yes. fanny being cyrus all being of them being cyrus yeah yeah, yeah. So I I'm mixed on Homi Adjani as a filmmaker. I think, like you said, he's made these Indian English films like Being Cyrus and Haan. Finding Fanny. But then he also does this uh, mainstream Hindi films like Cocktail and Hindi Medium. Which so he's I kind of done. I have written uh, an article on Cocktail because on cocktail. I was so horrified by how regressive that film was. It basically said bad girls don't get the boy. and good okay. girls who pray and uh, nice sweet ah. girls even if they mm. cheat on you or even if they are seeing someone else's boyfriend will finally get the boy oh, it was okay. horrible but there's this film i don't know whether you've seen it it's called little zizu have you seen little zizu yes i've seen little zizu it's yes it's such a lovely film suni tarapurwala's uh, yes so i don't know maybe because homi adjania's parsi i just as you <laughs> <laughs> that you make such nice films <laughs> but that's not happening and no so that's what i thought it was very 
like you didn't care about any of the characters exactly. i felt karishma's yes. character could have been fleshed out she was there just for it like mm. she said okay i want to do an ott uh, mm. film and they said okay mm. there's this character but we haven't fleshed out your character at all and she said screw it i don't care <laughs> at all and uh, dimple's character like that could have been so good i know yeah but That's it was just, even vijay varma's character could have been interesting you didn't care by the end of it what happened to him or what happened to sara ali khan either yeah sara ali khan i think in the beginning of the film i thought uh, okay she's actually showing some chops but then without giving much away towards the end yeah. she has to play some big scenes and then again her performance kind of falls apart uh, in that uh, but what i thought broadly the two things that stuck out to me is i think uh this is netflix's attempt to do knives out and white yeah. lotus the two things that stuck out yeah. so the knives out agatha christie mystery is back in back in fashion again because there have been those her- hercule poirot movies uh, death on the nile and all of that and a bunch of uh murder mystery shows also so this clearly uh, draws from that and white lotus being that rich people are bad and corrupt yeah. that whole sense of uh, sense of uh, Uh, and uh, having them in a people. beautiful setting also setting yeah yeah, yeah yeah but i think it it kind of fails on both those uh, both those fronts uh, i just thought the like okay they are rich delhi famous socialites but the, all of their backstories and i don't i haven't read the book so i don't know all their backstories are very paper thin like there's nothing yeah or there yeah that i could that i could dig my teeth into or empathize with anyone it was just very or be uh, interested laundry, even that you're like okay now what could have happened to the character that you yes, think nothing yeah. you're like okay it's true yeah. it i don't care which is very sad but they've spent a lot of money on this i think as you know lot of money yeah yeah uh i i think devin bhojani who plays the manager at the yeah. at the club he's good Yeah, Because he's he very good. Perennially has this cold. Where he's sniffing his nose, and uh, he he knows everything about everyone. So he's pretty, and he's least bothered about every uh, any of the people. So he's pretty funny. But overall, I just really it was a slog, and it's two hours twenty minutes, which is yeah, very it's long. very long, especially if there's. And I have to say that the most forgettable parts were Karishma Kapoor's parts, which is why I mm. forgot. that she was on it after seeing that oh mm. like you just mm. forget that she's in it because her character has n- nothing to do pretty much nothing to do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh any yeah, other reveals also come out of nowhere it's just it's just it just left me bored yeah very bad very do you bad. think it's a do you think it's a netflix issue because i can't remember after sacred games they haven't made anything that's like Netflix India original that, that yeah, stuck out Netflix to me. Yeah, Netflix India doesn't seem to have uh, yeah. anything. So there's the gentleman is on it right now, which is Guy mm. Ritchie's, which is actually very good. Okay. As in, at least two episodes in it seems quite good. But I can't think of any Netflix originals which are. Yeah, they seem to even take like good filmmakers like the Vishal Bhardwaj film Kufia. Even that was like yeah. very by the numbers, very pale. So I don't know what they do to. No, like, I don't think take. much thought goes into it, and they spend a lot of money on all their productions. It's money. not like they yeah. aren't spending money, but they're, uh, they're sitting on a they're sitting on a Dibakar Banerjee film which they're not releasing because they're scared it'll uh, it'll create controversy. It seems like they are also very safe, play very safe. In so they are regards. also sitting on Monkey Man. Uh, this oh, yes. one, Dave Patel's, because <laughs> Dave Patel, I don't yes. think they realize what the film is about. and now right. that they have realized they're so scared of they can't they just can't put it on netflix india netflix will have to leave india then i think if yeah. they put monkey man on so yeah. uh, they are a little i feel they are even more careful than amazon and hotstar and all and hotstar yeah, yeah yeah so it's it is not good at all <laughs> but uh, the other thing that is on oh let's do one announcement one important announcement let's do first of all this uh, episode of offer and awesome is uh, not behind the paywall it's going to be outside the paywall this week but from next week it will go behind the paywall like nl hafta and nl chacha and you can watch the full episodes of these podcasts on the youtube channel but just remember that this is all possible because of subscription so please subscribe to news laundry and support free news and speaking of supporting free news the news minute news laundry election fund is uh, 
up and running and uh, there are going to be a whole bunch of stories, reports, on-ground reports, videos across from across the country during these elections. There will be more than 15 reporters, producers and editors from NLTNM on the ground covering various states including Manisha, Atul, Dhanya, Sudipto. And you can head to newslaundry.com slash 2024-election fund to make a contribution. And you don't have to, like it's not for the entire fund. There are smaller projects as well which you can fund. But please do go onto that page and try and give some contribution. Any contribution will help. And uh, you will not have to read about the Ambani's and all of them. That are my two bits. <laughs> I was I was wondering of the three people you mentioned you follow on Instagram Priyanka Chopra Dimple Kapadia and who's the third one? No, not Dimple Kapadia. Don't be like oh, that. Oh, not Dimple. Sorry. Dimple <laughs> might actually Kapadia. have a more interesting. Oh, I also follow four people: Twinkle who's Khanna. Yeah, Twinkle. Ah. We've said Twinkle Katrina. Katrina, yeah. So why any of these four people at the Ambani Bash? Katrina was there. Oh, she was there. Okay. And Karina and Karishma were there. And oh, so then. Oh, Alia Bhatt also I follow. Now it's all coming back. Sorry, five people. Maybe by the end of this episode, it will be just celebrities I'm following on Instagram. I, I, I'm, I, since this is news laundry, I'm going to fact check you live on Instagram. Karan Johar also. Karan Johar also I follow. It's all coming out now. <laughs> no one else. Out of the I closet. promise. Nobody else. Akshay Kumar and all I don't follow. Even I have standards. You might not think so, but even I do have standards. But there's okay. another show, a full series, hmm. which everyone I know posted on because I seem to know a lot of people from Wellham. And Wellham Girls School in Dehradun. And mm -hmm. uh, this is a show called Big Girls Don't Cry, which is uh, on Amazon Prime. Yes. And it's been directed by Nitya Mehra, who has also directed a film scripted by a friend of mine, a very, very close friend of mine, Anwar Pal. But we don't discuss oh. it in public anymore because that film was so terrible. It is Which Bar one? Bar Dekho. Oh, Bar Bar Dekho, yes. Yeah, with, with uh, Siddharth Malhotra. And Katrina Kaif. Mm. And we went to watch it on the big screen. And mm. I wanted to leave after half an hour because it was so bad. But and Abhinandan, this is this is your friend's film. Yeah, and Abhinandan was showing more loyalty to my friend than me. <laughs> but he was groaning through the film, which is why I said, "Let's we don't have to watch this because it is so bad." Mm. But mm. Uh, so Nitya Mehra had directed that as well. So I should have kept that in mind and set yeah. my expectations. <laughs> but not but that actually, I thought it would be uh, great. To be fair. Nitya Mehra actually has a pretty great CV. She's been an assistant director on Life of Pi, the Ang Lee film. Okay. Uh, also, the namesake. Also, Little Zizu, which we just spoke <gasps> about. She was an assistant director on that. So, she, so The Reluctant Fundamentalist, again, a Mira Nair film. So, she has this great uh, 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 CV when it comes to as an assistant director. Uh, she also directed a couple of episodes of uh, Made in Heaven season two, I think. Yeah, that uh, I know so, yeah. that she did. Yeah. So, so she's had a great body of work uh, around uh, great uh, stuff. But yeah, the one directorial venture of hers yeah, was Bar this, Bar so. this is a bit uh, much, I felt. So I think it's eight episodes. Let me... Yeah, it's seven, I think. Seven episodes, yeah. Because at the sixth episode, I thought, oh, now it's over. But it wasn't. There was another episode after that. Anyway, it is set in uh, the school in the hills. It was shot at uh, Lovedale, I think. And mm -hmm. uh, it's set in this boarding school in the hills, girls boarding school in the hills. It is called Vandana Valley High School. The principal of the high school is Pooja Bhatt, who has Pooja also Bhatt, who's got... Who's looking very hot. Who's looking very hot and who's also got second win with OTT. Have you realized? Yes, yes, she yes. She gets a lot of stuff now with and she is a good actress. Mm. And she's very cute. She used to be yeah, cute, true. now she's become hot. That's true. I think uh, age has been on her side. Yeah. And uh, I think she's one of those, uh, in the 90s, I think she just got to play the pretty young thing in films, whereas I think she deserved a lot more. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Do you think she deserved a lot more, Val? I think so, because I, I, I don't remember, but... Uh, Why she uh, did that uh, film, Zakam? 
Zakhm, yeah, and Which she was, was really good, good at that. Mahesh Bhatt uh, cast her as his mother. Like, there's a lot of. Yeah, uh, it's very <laughs> Freudian. Like, even <laughs> Freud was concerned about what was happening there, and he tried to make Ajay Devgan act in that film. <laughs> yes, true. That, and I think succeeded to a yeah, certain degree. Yeah. So also. I really like Zakhm and that song. Gali me. Tum aaye to gali na chaan nikla. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. sing it because it will not sound like the song <laughs> then. But uh, no, no, so no. Sh- the the song will be next week behind the paywall. So yeah. Subscribe. So, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe then and log on then only. There'll be a lot of music <laughs> next time. But she plays the principal, principal of the school, yeah. and uh, it's a mix. It's basically a show about. a uh, high school not yeah, like a yeah, yeah. school and you see all these boarders who are there some are from very privileged background most are from privileged backgrounds then you have one child who is a scholarship kid which yeah. could have been really well done that portion of it or her character but that doesn't get mm. fleshed out too well and this whole mm. thing of trying to uh, get your own clique of friends and get into the cool gang in school yeah yeah and uh, which is all fine but right. it was really boring <laughs> <laughs> it was like so, so, i couldn't care what these kids were doing at I all i think yes so so you hit the nail on the on the head uh, but i have a question raj what do you think is the target audience for this show So that's what I was trying to remember. The other they had there was another uh, show on a boarding school which Hotstar had done called School of Lies. Do you remember School right, of Lies, yes, where yes, Nimrat yes. Kaur is uh, a teacher and there's a murder right. which happens mm, and all mm, that? Mm. And School of Lies, I think Mukul Chhod does in School of Lies also, but. Uh, that was about a missing child like it becomes about that and what happens right. in these schools and all so i can't figure out this one were they aiming at people who are like are, is it women who is first right. of all who are the target audience then if it's women are you aiming at a 15 plus demographic to say my age group maybe right. because the people right. who made this are my age group mm. okay so 15 plus to almost 50 or hitting mm. Mm. which can there are lots of shows so there's dairy girls which is on uh, yes. netflix, on netflix right? yeah. which is superb absolutely Hilarious. and it is yes. girls and they are 17 year old girls and all but it is so funny it is political it has so many uh, comments on culture pop culture every and it's so removed from india but you still love it because yeah it's so clever the entire mm. it's clever and funny mm. then that other show with uh, gillian anderson sex education sex education yeah so this i felt maybe it's that same demographic which cuts across everyone which they are aiming for but i don't think even kids as in 15 to 18 yeah, years old will find it interesting that's true that's why because uh, the show is well done like it's not like it's poorly made it looks yeah. great i think it's the, very the, the well kids shot, huh? the girls who are playing the students are also quite good yeah, i yeah, think yeah. they act pretty well but i couldn't like there was something there's no hook like you said the hot star show it had the central mystery of the missing child yeah. right there was also this netflix show called class if you watched yeah, which yeah, was also which I'd on, watched, in a school which i which i think did a lot but still the characters were it interesting did the, yeah. yeah and it did the, uh, the the class difference quite well i think as, as compared also to this also class one. by the way when i was trashing it i have a lot of friends who unlike me had children at the right time and all and their mm-hmm. kids are now 16 and 18 right. and so on and they are in various schools in delhi shri right. ram yeah. modern and all mm-hmm. and i was saying it's like you know it's such like it's just painful the show and they said but you know that's the way kids it are happens, in school yeah, they yeah, said yeah. you yeah. might be rolling your eyes and saying oh they've stretched it too far or it's not nice but kids were able to relate to it because to it exactly yeah, yes yeah because there was something so, common so do you remember back in the day there used to be a show called remix which used to be on this channel called star 1 which was again it was it was on mainstream tv and it was very much uh, rich kids being bratty it But had remember... raima dev the little sen yes yes i call her the uh, and... little sen because she's little 
I I remember that back then, uh, like I was, I had just gotten out of school and mm. I was not relating to these kids. But there was an aspirational thing of, yeah. oh, we wish we went to a posh school where we could be brats also. Uh, the, the thing is, in in Big Boys Don't Cry, I don't find there's no sense of adventure. There's no central hook in the show. Um, the backstories of the parents and the teachers aren't engaging also. And so I'm I'm wondering, is it me as a 36 year old who's not able to? connect with this but then i don't think this show will even appeal to like a 15 or also, 18 year listen, old also listen i'm either. from a girl school by the way i'm from a girl right. school which had a face the boy school so we had la martinia mm. for boys and la martinia for girls but i'm basically right. our classes were unique like it was a girl school the boys couldn't enter our school and so on right right so yeah. i've been in a girl school i've been uh, maybe some people thought i, I wasn't a mean girl but i was just <laughs> like uh, like whatever, I was very sweet. I was a nice person. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> you got I was as you, very, you got very. As you grew Am older. I not getting exuding that energy of being a very sweet, nice person? Totally but, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I get this whole dynamics that they are showing that there's a like there are groups of girls and groups of friends mm. and there's great loyalty with friends and all that and you won't. Uh, yeah, like you yeah. won't see your friends. The ingredients boyfriend. are all there, but they're just not coming together for some reason. Like I saw three episodes, and I have no. It does wish not get to watch better. The rest of the four. That's yeah. the best part. It does not get better, and they have a great lineup of other stars. So there is yeah. uh, Pooja Bhatt, of course. There's Mukul Chadda, and uh, I don't know why she was cast though. Uh, that uh, Raima Sen. Raima Sen. Raima, yeah, she Raima a Dev Varma. They are not Sen, sorry. Okay. Raima Dev Varma. Then there is. Uh, There's also that uh, actress, now I'm forgetting her name, who was in Dil Chatai, who plays Saif Ali Khan's girlfriend. Who Suchitra Krishnamurti. Suchitra Krishnamurti. Who I really not like. Not Krishnamurti. Is it Krishnamurti? Suchitra Pillai. So Chitra yes, Krishnamurti yeah. is the other one. Then yeah. there is this guy, Shataf Zigar. You've seen him, who is her husband, Pooja Bhats. Husband okay. in this. Mm. I've seen him mm. elsewhere also. Then there's Pavlene Gujral. She's uh plays that Kavya's mother. The oh she doesn't come uh, till the end. Then there's okay. Zoya Hussain who plays the drama teacher. Correct, yeah, yeah. So I just felt that one, the way the kids, there's a scene right at the end where the kids, mm -hmm. uh, this is not earth shattering, so I'm just going to say it. There's the princess. So the princess's character is nice also. The Rajkumari, mm. the mm. Nepalese Rajkumari. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, correct. Nepali and uh, Bhutanese families, uh, mm. this thing, the royal family's uh, daughter. So there's this Rajkumari who's friends with this other girl. And right at the end, they basically... Uh, run off into the hills and the Rajkumari is going to take her to Bhutan without her parents' permission. These things are not going to happen. We'd get mm. two slaps. I'm just imagining if I took my passport and I ran away at 16 just for a right. holiday when I came back. Right. I don't even know what would happen. I don't want to think what would have happened to me. Absolutely. <laughs> also, this whole... I don't know. Most of it did not make... There's also at the end, they show... That the girls bandy band together for mm. this whole thing of that accepting homosexuality is like why should they, you discriminate? Yeah, and they yeah. do this sort of takeover of the school during the annual day or the last day. Mm. These things don't happen in boarding schools or high schools because you'll get rusticated if you behave like that. Like, you mm. know, the principal mm. is speaking and you're putting up flags and starting to sing and all. This is mm. not going to mm. happen. So a lot of it did not make sense. Either you make a sensible because you are trying to show a very sensible uh, storyline as such. Right, yeah. And uh, so one, the stories were not making sense. The way the characters were behaving was not making sense. I felt none of the girls were interesting enough. They But they acted well. So the casting was very well, good. Yeah. I felt the casting yeah. was very good. <laughs> And uh, whatever hill station and school this is, if it is Lovedale, it's either Lovedale mm. or Springdale. Now I've forgotten which one mm. it's, <laughs> it is, but it's shot in either of these. It is very beautiful, the entire setting that in the middle of yeah. this pine forest, there's a school pops up, right? I, I also had this one other uh, uh, observation mm. is that uh, the show almost looks like very pristine. It almost looks like an 
add you know it's very yeah. very crystal crystal clear very well done everything is very meticulously framed and all of that which works well in like a 30 second ad promo but watching an hour of that is like everything is very crystal clear i watched eight hours clear. seven hours i watched na <laughs> yes. it was very trying seven oh hours, that yes. guy is there by the way from made in heaven tell me the main the, uh, as in the two uh, main character shobita is one and the other chap Arjun oh, Kapoor. Guy, yeah. I know uh, no, what you're talking uh, about. What is his name? So he comes on as a key character. Arjun Mathur. Arjun Mathur comes on as a key hmm. character at the like he okay. comes on as a benefactor of the school at the end. Hmm. So and okay. then something else happens. But there is But but if you if if I'm not interested in watching the rest of the thing Arjun Mathur is not going to convince me to watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's not going to happen and I just want to say that it is very sad if this is what Wellham is Wellham is in but its ex students have been promoting it as oh you know it's uh, even oh. Nitya has said that it is uh, based on my memories of Wellham and all this is very sad then you all should not say this during your <laughs> because I know a lot of people from Wellham who are very <laughs> sensible fun nice people when I watch this if this is what you're saying you're bent through and that you are so like you know emotionally disturbed when these incidents happen in your lives right then yeah. it's very wearing pretty sad yes yeah. <laughs> it's not good but good for pooja bhat that she's getting lots of <laughs> absolutely rules yeah. and pooja bhat mukul chadda all yeah. these people getting a research raima yeah. is getting she did that other thing also totally. that covid what was that film oh vaccine was vaccine was, was also she got now <laughs> she's got it's too much she is in her peak Peak of a career Peak. right now, <laughs> but so watch. I think everyone should watch Murder Mubarak and Big Girls Don't Cry because maybe you would like to say that we are incorrect. Maybe yeah. How can you say that unless you go through what we have been through? <laughs> Is my point. But now you are going to tell us about something which was not awful. It was not awful. Yes, so yes. I watched uh, the Scottish comedian uh, Daniel Sloss. Uh, he's touring India with his uh, comedy special called Can't. Um, mm-hmm. So Daniel Sloss actually did, I think, one or two shows in India last year mm-hmm. uh, for a comedy festival, and those tickets sold out in like a few minutes. Oh. So Daniel Sloss, or was, I think it was twenty twenty two. Yes, twenty twenty two. So Daniel Sloss himself was very surprised with uh, the fame that he has in India. So I'll give you a little bit of background. Yeah. Actually, you can check out. Uh, he has two or three specials on Netflix. Netflix, I one just is, saw. Yeah, yeah. One is called Jigsaw, and uh, uh, the other is called uh, I, I'm not really sure. I think it's called Dark. Hmm. Uh, so Rajshri, his claim to fame is hmm. that uh, Daniel Sloss used to do a show where he used to um, he used to convince people. to break up with whoever they were seeing at that point okay right? and he he convinced people to such an extent that people would actually get their divorce papers signed by him so he became this uh, le- legend of breaking relationships he's spoken about this on an episode of conan o'brien mm. uh, so he he would he would primarily jo- his his material would primarily be about relationships and uh, people mm. uh, and about being scottish but then he also has a very strong political bent uh, okay. there's this very famous bit of his where he talks about that uh, i wish i was a right winger because right wingers accept anybody but left wing Uh, you're never left wing enough like mm. if you say that you hate trump uh, they'll be like what else they'll be like oh i'm also accepting of the lgbtq community they'll be like okay what else they're like are you vegan and they'll be like no i'm not vegan then you're so not then they'll truly be like left. Then why don't you go join yeah. the nazis yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can never be left wing enough so uh, he's very politically aware the 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 reason this special mm. is uh, different is because this guy who had been going around telling people to break up with people and divorce people got married himself 2 years ago with his long time partner and he had a child so his new show is about uh his wife's pregnancy and uh, how life has changed post marriage okay but he also did take digs at the current political situation in india hmm. uh he talks about this one thing where he said 5 years ago i performed in russia and there are 
four countries where he said that you are not able to uh, criticize the government. He names Russia, a Middle Eastern country, one more country. And he says, I'm slightly forgetting the fourth one. Huh. And, uh, <laughs> and then at some point he talks about something and the word democracy comes up. So he actually takes a pause and like, okay, India, let me tell you what democracy is. And he actually lists, yeah. <laughs> tells you what democracy is. So the good thing so is that the like, right wingers don't know about him. and how I, he Actually, him. yes. Yeah. It's a good thing. Huh? So uh, the the show is actually a pretty good amalgamation. He also addresses this whole thing of cancel culture and how mm-hmm. comedians are saying that they're not allowed to say stuff, but actually men don't really face any consequences, even despite allegations. So he's touring India right now. I think he's done with Delhi and Mumbai. By the time this episode goes out, I think Bangalore would also be done. Okay. But he's doing Goa. He's doing... Uh, I think Chennai, he's doing a couple of other big cities. Uh, so in case you're someone who likes oh, comedy, nice. if not go watch Daniel Sloss Live, check out his specials on Netflix. I think he's uh, he's pretty he's pretty cool. Uh, he's also written a book. Uh, he's written a book called Everyone You Hate Is Going To Die and Other Comforting Thoughts. Ah, so uh, it you does check out that you. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So I'll try and catch it on uh, him on Netflix then. Yes, please do. Yeah. So at least one one good recommendation. One thing was, uh, it was not it, awful and awful. Yes. It was awful It was awesome. awful, awful and a little awesome. awesome. And uh, yes. there's something else which has happened in the world, which mm-hmm. everyone is talking about, that Kate Middleton has gone missing. Oh, yes. Yeah. The, the photoshopped uh, picture. Which was a little bizarre. Even I... <laughs> agree because why even release a picture na? also people how because I kept looking at the picture after those articles came out that it's been mm. photoshopped and then mm. they were pointing out what has been photoshopped yeah, 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 yeah. and that means people really went into that picture with a magnifying glass because I totally, still couldn't yeah, figure yeah. it out so first I thought someone because on uh, Insta and all they have all this nonsense they had the same picture with her with six fingers so I was like, oh my God, did they do that? I saw that, oh, that hadn't happened. But I think the poor thing just wants to sleep and not come out That's in true, yeah. You know, I, I read this meme somewhere that right now, uh, Kate Middleton is in some small town falling in love with a stranger who doesn't know she's from the royal Probably. family. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Netflix it's, uh, show uh, waiting yeah, to happen. It's just, it is a little weird that she's nowhere to be seen. But uh, then it wouldn't be the royal family's had a bit of a... Exactly. Like yeah, a yeah. dull time. So they might as well have something interesting happening. Too bad that our public figures... Uh, don't go missing. Not half as interesting. Or yeah. don't go missing. We can keep hoping for it to happen, but it doesn't happen. It, ever. It, in in India, if they go missing, the, then, the you consequences know are happened. way worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that that's the end, basically. Yeah, exactly. Kate, if you're listening to this, uh, please show up. Please subscribe to News Laundry. Support <laughs> free news. <laughs> we'll support yes. the free Kate Foundation also then yes totally yes but uh, that's it for this week we will be back next week with the gentleman which I have six more episodes it's a very <laughs> long show though I have to say all these shows are very long I am waiting to watch The Zone of Interest have you watched it? No, I haven't watched it, but uh, everybody who's seen it has been yeah. raving about, about it. So, yeah, I really want to watch and it. And I watched uh, Poor Things, which you watched. Have you watched? Oh, ah, okay. The Emma Stone film. Did you watch it? No, I have not watched it. Watch it. So, did you watch it on Hotstar? Yeah, and they haven't censored it. Was... Oh, they haven't censored it? Because okay. if they've censored it, I don't know what else was in this <laughs> film. Okay, because Got it. <laughs> nothing seems to have been censored. No. <laughs> And then it's Got fine it. that they censored a bit. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. No, no, watch it. It's not bad. But we um, will be back next week. And till then, thank you, Mr. Moman. Thank you, Miss Sen. And it's a wrap. Journalism at News Laundry is powered by the public. Because when the public pays, the public is served. Visit newslaundry.com slash subscription and pick a payment plan of your choice. Pay to keep news free and independent. Your future, and indeed the future of democracy, depends on it.